Today's video is sponsored by FSP, one of my favorite case and power supply manufacturers. Whether you want an inexpensive feature packed quality computer case, a high end tower style CPU cooler, or a powerful rock solid power supply, FSP has you covered. I have been reviewing their stuff since way before this sponsorship and I've always been surprised at the price to performance that FSP offers. See links in the description to browse their products, available on Amazon and Newegg. I highly recommend them. What's up, people? My name is Timmy Joe. I'm coming at you live from CES 2019. And by live, I mean from my dank hotel room after the AMD keynote. But I am here to give you all the digs and uh, how, you know, maybe a little bit update on how I've been doing here at CES 2019. And I uh, hope you stick around a little for the ride. Yeah, so I am literally across the way from a full-on construction zone where they are building a new hotel as well as every five seconds a plane flies over this hotel so please forgive me for these little foibles but what you're here for is the AMD keynote synopsis and I'm here to tell you it was a whole lot of fun even if I do feel a little dirty a little uh, as I gave in to the adored TV leaks and uh, you know there was a lot of cool stuff that Dr. Lisa Sue talked about but poof Lisa Sue we uh you didn't get quite as much as was promised by these leaks, and you know what? So be it. We shouldn't have dived, you know, so hard into believing these leaks, but at the same time, it's not like anything was totally disproven that, that are in the leaks. It's just we just didn't get that information or launch date. Well, we got a little bit of launch dates and stuff like that, as well as the GPU thing just must be totally wrong. Uh, or, I don't know, we'll see. But... Uh, so, so basically, I got, uh, I'm really lucky, uh, right in to this keynote uh, on a VIP status. Check this out. Where did I put it? Ha! Ah, look at this. I, AMD gave me this. It's a VIP keynote seating. So I was like 10 rows of 120 rows. I was in row 10, and uh, I got to you know be like 20 feet from Lisa Sue. It was pretty sweet. And it's hard to kind of think of how I should cover this. I tried to live stream some of it and they're live streaming it anyway. So I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, but then my phone crashed halfway through that and I couldn't get it going again. So bollocks to that. And then I was taking my own video and stuff like that when I really, I should have just been enjoying it. Cause you're going to see, you know, as we go along, I'm mostly just going to show AMD's footage cause they had proper cameramen there doing it. So what did they discuss? At the keynote well it started off with the obligatory video with like a dog running through a field and a man amputee getting like a, ro a robot arm and you know rocket ships flying into space because AMD's chasing or uh, changing the face of computers uh, everyone does that you know <laughs> whatever but uh, she didn't really spend too much time beating around the bush uh, she just kind of wanted to congratulate her team and stuff because, uh, and, and this was right out of Lisa's uh, talking points, it wasn't, you know, two, two, three years ago that the highest consumer core count CPU you could get uh, was 10 cores and uh, cost, you know, $1,200. And now we have, of course, Threadripper, which has, you know, just rocked the, the, the core of computing to where you can get 32 cores and uh, it's priced at Intel's, you know, 18 core, you know, uh, level. So the AMD really has been doing a lot in the CPU space and hats off to them. Ryzen has been an extreme success and uh, I can't wait for this next generation to come. Uh, which we'll talk about in a second. However, she did talk a little bit about uh, they're putting an AMD CPU in a Chromebook. I don't know who cares about that. But speaking of Chrome, you're actually going to be able to do cloud gaming right in browser with uh, some sort of deal that they're working out with Google. So there is going to be uh, some cheaper, inexpensive ways, as long as you have good internet, to use low-powered hardware to get onto the latest and greatest games using just your Chrome browser, not even anything uh, real specific. So, you know, we don't have many details on that, but that, I thought that was pretty cool. She also talked with, uh, you know, some game developers and stuff like that about whatever in this, and as well as they uh, uh, sponsor a really uh, awesome esports team that's using all Ryzen and uh, Radeon stuff right now, and they're actually going to be, you know, she said all of that team would be getting new uh, second gen hardware or whatever, uh, you know, 3000 series processors and this new GPU that's coming out. But 
that's what you're here for, right? To talk about GPUs and CPUs. And right in the middle of it, she did an announcement for Radeon 7. Not much information on what that actually means, but this is a brand new, first, world's first 7 nanometer GPU that's coming to market. And that's pretty interesting. It's got 60 compute units, 25% faster performance for the same power consumption, 16 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory. So they're still going with HBM and uh, one terabyte a second memory bandwidth. This is Ryzen uh, 7 and this is not, or sorry, uh, not Ryzen, Radeon 7. And this is not what we were expecting at all. According to the leaks, we were getting Navi GPUs and it was kind of more of a budget focus. And I made a video recently where I was begging and pleading with AMD, don't try and compete with the high-end RTX. Give us a card at CES that uh, can, can fuel a game you know that'll be a competitor for the 2060 but at a little bit better cost you know without that tax you're paying for rtx that is the opposite of what they did here they launched essentially vega 2 is what i'm imagining that this is and um it's uh coming to market very soon february 7th for 6.99 and it's a competitor for the rtx 2080 coming in a little bit cheaper uh but where are the other GPUs? I really hope. And she kept emphasizing that there's a lot more to come this year. And this was just the tip of the iceberg. She, in fact, at the end of the keynote stated, we're going to look back at this keynote and say like, wow, this was the beginning of a, a, a large difference, so a differential in computing performance. And I believe her. There are some pretty interesting stuff, you know, coming for out of there. And I'm happy to see a high end you know card on seven nanometer that's that's going to be cool you know assuming i can afford or get one uh which is the same thing for you guys but if this plays 4k like if this is 1080 ti performance or 2080 you know performance uh you know for for essentially what you're buying uh used 28 or 1080 ti's for ish right now that, that that's that's pretty nice especially if it actually comes in at this price point and the cooler looks very very nice it's a three fan cooler kind of uh you know no blower this time which is amazing i'm glad that both nvidia and amd decided to forego the cooler uh or the blower style cooler but they've taken it one step further this is a seven nanometer gpu so it shouldn't really need uh that much you know that much more cooling uh because it's supposed to be you know 25 percent uh faster for the same power consumption so if we're getting you know 25 percent better than uh, Vega 64, you'd think they'd put another blower on it and let the AIBs do their work. But this thing, they had it on stage with three big fans on it. So kudos to them for not just, you know, doing the blower thing again. That, that's pretty cool. But it remains to be seen. Like we saw a demo. Uh, they were playing um, a, a new Devil May Cry uh, title that's been yet to be released. And apparently it was running at 4K and it was running at like 100 uh, frames per second uh, with the settings maxed out, which would make sense for 2080 or uh, 1080 Ti performance. So, you know, uh, here's here's hoping. They also uh, demoed a few other things. They showed uh, that the division is coming uh, and that it has full support from Ubisoft and is partnered with uh, AMD. They actually gave me uh, a free copy of Div Division 2 coming out in March. Uh, I just get to scratch this little thing. So thanks, Lisa, for giving me a free video game. That's very nice of you. So uh really we got one gpu very high end not what we were looking for but what's with the cpus well started off with um a demo of epic and uh we've seen this they did this at like a financial meeting that or or, or keynote that they did where they show that uh this new 64 core uh, epic cpu is faster than two of the top end uh, Xeon systems right now. So uh, or like a, a dual Xeon system, the uh, platinum editions or whatever. So AMD's one CPU is beating out, uh, you know, a two socket design from Intel. So that's, that's pretty cool and confirmed that, uh, we should be seeing Epic ship to consumer or to whatever customers, um, in the second quarter of this year, I believe she said, but you were here for Ryzen two, right? Or, or Zen 2, not Zen Plus, Ryzen 3000 series. She didn't really talk about it, unfortunately. They did a demo of a, I assume, and it wasn't really said, but 
uh, a Zen 2 3000 series 8 core CPU against the 9900K, uh, I assume running at stock speeds. And it does. You know, so, so the uh, 9900K gets about... I like that Windows isn't activated on this this one. <laughs> uh, the 9900K gets just over 2,000 in Cinebench, and they ran this new 8-core Zen 2 3000 series part unnamed. They covered up the information in Cinebench, and it got just a bit higher score, about 20 points higher. So that tells me that 7 nanometer has brought... Uh, you know, assuming they weren't being Intel about it and putting a chiller on this CPU or whatever, this was just a very sneak preview of really early versions of uh, Zen 2, uh, where the, at stock speeds and it, they didn't really give a gigahertz, they, it seems like they can uh, beat out Intel's 9900K. So here's hoping that that's actually what's happening. I hope that the, uh, the leaks are true and that the core counts are going up, but if we can get an eight core part from um, AMD that is very competitive with the 9900K and is using less power because they actually showed the power consumption in these demos and the Ryzen system is using about 30 watts less doing the same workload and then beating it. Uh, so that, that's, that's interesting. That means you shouldn't need some massive cooler to cool uh, you know, the Ryzen 3000 eight core part. Uh, which gives you know way, and then the last bit of information, which is awesome news, is it's pretty much confirmed that this is a chiplet on a die for Ryzen that will fit in your AM4 socket, and this is a deleted version of that CPU, and it has an I/O die. So uh, that means that the uh, Epic like platform, they're bringing it and shrinking it down to the AM4 socket. So this this de definitely does mean that they could somehow fit two of these chiplets with the IO die on one of these CPUs, but it looks like it would be pretty tight. So we might not see these 12 and 16 core parts if they are even going to come for some time, which I'm totally okay with as long as this architecture actually gets to the level of the 9900K at a lower power consumption. I think all of us could live with Zen 2 7 nanometer being uh you know be beating intel at its game clock for clock when it really doesn't seem like their 10 core or their 10 uh, nanometer parts at intel are going to be ready anytime soon and those are already three nanometers behind amd so when you're all said and done i thank you lisa sue you did a very very nice uh keynote it was nice to be an amd vip uh you know while i was there and get some uh, awesome seating and you know watch this live for myself it was a dream come true to be sitting around you know uh my peers which i i don't even deserve to you know be, be in that room you know in, in my little mind but i'm there and i'm watching uh the launch of a brand new architecture for video cards or seven nanometer first world's first seven nanometer video card which you know it's nice to see that they're keeping up with the performance even though that's not really what I was hoping they would do. And to see that they actually did confirm that we should see these Ryzen Zen 2 7 nanometer parts by mid-2012, or at least a confirmed launch date in a, in a lineup of CPUs. So we will be seeing those this year well in advance of Intel bringing out any sort of 10 core or 10 nanometer parts. And uh, it's just, it's good. I mean, it's a good time to be a computer enthusiast. It's just not quite as good, you know, here at CES as the leaks were suggesting. Uh, and I think that's a lesson for us all. I think next time I won't be hyping it up. Like, the my video on Adore TV's leaks got like 120,000 views. I guess I can't complain too much. But uh, I did, you know, have a little bit more faith in uh, his leaks than I should have, I guess. And I should have took the hardware unboxed look at, you know, grain of salt goggles on and really questioned whether or not half this stuff was happening because it didn't really make sense. But the, 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 you know, headlines were Lisa Su to unveil seven nanometer GPU and CPU and Zen, you know, new architecture or new update to architecture at CES. And she, she basically did it. So, you know, good for her. So, uh, that's all I got to say. It's been awesome here at CES 2019. I'm in over my head here. Uh, you know, I'm, trying my best to get the content out and dealing with slow internet and 
the fact that my hotel's like a 15 minute Uber ride from most of the uh, the events and stuff like that. So I hope that you guys are being entertained with uh, the videos I'm putting out and I got a whole lot more. I've got to sit down and edit now. Uh, and then I've got a couple more meetings. Uh, and then tomorrow I think I'm gonna just go to the show floor one more time. I haven't actually been to the convention center because most of the computer stuff, it was uh, kind of off, a little bit more off site, uh, centered around where the keynote was and stuff like that. So that was nice. I've been to MSI's booth, Thermal Takes booth, uh, Corsair's booth. I saw some really awesome I buy power computers. Uh, I've gone to see Patriot. I've gone to see uh, FSP, Lee and Lee, uh, Enermax. I put a video of that up already. A lot of cool stuff. Uh, and then, you know, I walked the, sh the, the one show floor and I did a little funny video that I'll, I'll put out a little bit later. But uh, I, just super awesome to be here. I thank you very much for listening to me babble. And uh, yeah, AMD CS Keynote. I, I'm, I still feel very confident that we're getting what we think we're getting. Just the timeline, it doesn't make sense to announce a whole product skew of, uh, of processors right now, especially when AMD like quite literally has Intel by the balls as it is. So why not just let that ride for a bit and gain the market share and then, uh, you know, properly release Zen 2 and have it all ironed out nicely. And maybe we'll see that in the summer. And we're seeing a GPU very soon. And I'm hoping it'll be followed up by some more budget oriented cards. But this was obviously, you know, high end, high end, 16 gigs of HBM and, uh, you know, the, the price point that it's at, it's not you know, going to be for everybody. And I'm, I'm sorry, AMD, but we need a 2060 competitor at $50 less or, or you know, maybe a hundred dollars less with some models going at, at $50 less at around like three to 350 right now, because uh, Nvidia is just not doing it for me. That's for sure. I will see you guys in another video on that. Watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I've just been uh, uploading lots of stuff there uh, as the CES coverage progresses. Uh, but uh, I've got a lot of work to do to edit some videos. So thank you very much for watching. And I just, I thank every one of you guys who helped me get here. It's just, uh, it's awesome to be in Vegas. Uh, first time in the United States actually. And uh, you know, spending lots of money, just <laughs> it's an expensive city. But uh, so it was really nice to get the financial backing from you guys. And I really want to thank you very, very much. I will see you guys in another video. I'm Timmy Joe. You've been building. <laughs>